May 8, 1945, Berlin, Germany. Dear Diary, my name is Anna Muller, and today has been a day of both relief and overwhelming emotions. As a 28-year-old nurse working at the makeshift hospital in Berlin, I have witnessed the horrors of war firsthand. Today, however, marked a turning point that will forever be etched in the annals of history. The day began like any other, with the sound of sirens piercing the air, reminding us of the imminent danger that surrounded us. The city had been under siege for weeks, but today, everything changed. The rumors whispered through the hospital corridors seemed almost too good to be true. Germany had surrendered. Victory in Europe was finally ours. As the news spread like wildfire, jubilation swept through the city. People poured out onto the streets, their faces alight with joy and relief. I joined the throngs of ecstatic Berliners, abandoning my nurse's uniform momentarily to revel in the historic moment. The weight of the war, the countless lives lost, and the suffering endured by so many were momentarily forgotten as we celebrated this long-awaited triumph. The streets were filled with a cacophony of laughter, cheers, and cries of, We are free. Strangers embraced one another, their tears mingling with expressions of unbridled happiness. American, British, and Soviet soldiers were greeted as heroes, their arrival symbolizing the liberation we had yearned for. In the midst of the jubilant chaos, I stumbled upon a group of children who had gathered in a small square. Their innocent faces mirrored the collective relief of the nation. They were dancing and singing, their voices melding into a chorus of hope for a brighter future. It was a poignant reminder that this victory was not only for us, but for the generations to come, who would grow up without the specter of war hanging over their heads. Amidst the celebrations, there were somber reminders of the war's devastating toll. Buildings stood in ruins, a stark reminder of the destruction that had befallen our beloved city. The scars of war would take years to heal, but today, in this fleeting moment of unity and elation, we dared to believe that peace was possible. As evening fell, the city transformed into a sea of flickering lights, as candles and torches illuminated the darkened streets. People gathered around bonfires, sharing stories, and offering thanks for the newfound freedom. It was a night of catharsis, where joy mingled with sorrow, and hope eclipsed the despair that had plagued us for far too long. Now, as I sit here, Reflecting on this extraordinary day, I am filled with a renewed sense of purpose. Our city may be in ruins, but our spirit remains unbroken. We have endured the unimaginable, and today, we have emerged on the other side. Tomorrow, we will begin the arduous task of rebuilding our lives and our nation. But for now, let us revel in the triumph of this historic day. Let us remember those who sacrificed so much for this victory and let us cherish the fragile peace that has been won. May this day be etched in our hearts as a reminder of the strength and resilience of the human spirit. With hope and gratitude, Anna Muller